<laughs> well, good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. To all our NBC uh, family, visitors, and all those of you joining us by audio and video. We just want to welcome you and prepare yourselves to receive uh, what God has for you. Amen. And uh, He has great things for us. He has great plans for you. None of them include defeat. That's right. So guess what? He's got a great plan for you. So you just want need to line up with him, spend time with him, and he'll share what he wants you to do. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Allow the word of God to change you and bless you and correct you. All right. So praise God. I just shared this with the, the, the church here, and I want to share it with you. <laughs> I've got this little sign. It's hanging right, right over my desk, and it says this. iPod, iPad, I try. Uh, excuse me, I pray. God is listening. Prayer, wireless access to God with no Roman fees. Let me read it to you again. iPod, iPad, try, I pray. We need to do this all the time. Don't even try. I mean, do it. Amen. Don't just try it. Do it. God is listening. Amen. He listens and he answers always. Amen. I tell you all the time about Paul and Silas. Man, they got before God and they prayed. And God listened. And you can go back to the Bible, open the Bibles, and check it out. How many times God showed up? You know, when Moses. So let's 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 get let's get that. Let's get going. <laughs> and I also read him this. I read it to you a few that Sundays back, but I want you to listen to this. It says, Many Christians, many believers, whatever you call yourself, if you're a believer, you're a child of God, many Christians grow up in church but never grow in him. Yes. You come to church and you call yourself a Christian, but you don't have a relationship. You don't even know him. Mm. We come to church, grew up in church, but never grew up in Christ. They know hymns, but they don't know him. I don't want this to be said about me. I don't know about you. Yeah, I can sing the best of hymns. Don't have the greatest voice, but I can say I know the greatest hymns. <clears throat> but do you know him? Right. That's what we fail. We need to remember this. We need to have relationship and if you don't know him it's time that you do and it's time that you receive him as your lord and savior amen so anyway i'm excited i don't know about you but get excited because god is here he's always showing up he says he never leaves you nor forsakes you so he's always in the presence and he says we're the church we're the body so he's with you I'm trying to get this. I'm, I want you to grab this, that we are the body. We're the church. We come to this building to assemble ourselves together, to encourage one another, to be empowered. Too many churches now want to be entertained. We're not here to be entertained. We're not competing with the world. We're here to be to learn the word of God and to be empowered with the word of God. Encourage one another so we can grow and mature and don't, don't let the enemy and the troubles and the, and the storms of life Pull us down and take us down. Right. Amen. We want to rise up like eagles. Amen. High above the problems. <laughs> anyway, Lord has a great message for you. It's called above all. Amen. Above all. He's above everything. He's bigger than anything. Amen. And we need to magnify him and not the problem. And we get it backwards. We're always magnifying the problem and not him. Amen. Before I get too far away. <laughs> Grab your swords, soldier of God, <laughs> and let's them make this declaration together. Amen. So let's say it together. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Don't just read this on uh, Sundays. <laughs> read this on a daily basis when you spend time with Him. <laughs> Anytime you spend time with him, man, I don't want to be the same. I want to grow. And you know what? Every time you get the word in you, you grow, you grow, and you grow. You know, your fears have to go. Well, you know why? Because when I'm, when I'm filled with the word, there's no room for fears. Yeah. So whatever you're fearing, let it go as you grow in the word. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Woo. I'm excited. Can you tell? <laughs> Above all. Above all problems. You know, we got so many negative things, so many problems facing us now yeah. but you know let's remember our God is bigger our God is above all these things and uh, we're going to uh, 
have a few scriptures here for you. But he says, I'm above all. I like this. I think that's in uh, Brazil. No. Yeah, this. Yes. The sanctuary of Jesus is above all. Keep going, coming. It says, Jesus, above all. One more. It says, Jesus, name above all names. I don't care what you can name, but he's name above every name. He's above everything. So you know what? Whatever you're facing, know that Jesus is, is, is my source. Jesus is my power. Yes. And I am powerful through him. And I'm going to be empowered by him. Amen. Jesus above all. Jesus name above all names. He is the great I am. So you know what? It seems like we've been on a series of cast your cares on him. Uh -huh. Amen. Cares you can whatever cares you have, your cares might be different than mine. Mm -hmm. Whatever problems, whatever storms, whatever giants are facing you. Yes. Amen. Just remember this. Let's go to let's go to Philippians uh, uh, chapter two, verse uh, nine through eleven. And I'm gonna well, we got it up here. I'll just read it to you. Keep going, kind of. Oh, well, this is a, this is a freebie one. Says Jesus that I am, and I don't know if you can read any of these, but he says, author and finisher of your faith. He's a teacher. He's the great I am. Shalom, uh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jireh, Yah uh, Yahweh, the strong tower, Savior, man. This is something that we need to know. Amen. All these names above every name. Yes. He's a deliverer. He's an everlasting Father. Yeah. He's a Potter, a Creator. Yes. Man, Almighty. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. The light of the world. Yes, oh my God. Is. Praise God. All these things, man. You, you just say these things and you just get all empowered. Yes. Amen. And you know what? The enemy's going to hate you. Uh -huh. <laughs> because you're maturing and you're growing. And that's okay. But I am Elohim, Messiah, Adonai. Oh man. The most high. Praise God. Oh man. Keep going. Go one more. Here we go. I am with you always. Yes. You know, when you feel empty, when you feel like ah. he's gone, <laughs> he didn't forget, he didn't, he didn't walk away from you. That's right. We walked away from him. That's it. Amen. Just like a prodigal son going away from him. You know, things are fine. I don't need you now. Mm. So I'm just okay. Mm -hmm. I'll call you when I need to. You know, yeah. we always give him that uh, spare time yeah. treatment. And in case of emergency, <laughs> just be there when I need you. Uh -huh. But no, we know. The Bible also says, Jesus came to serve and not yes, to be yes. served. And we need to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Father, how can I serve you on a daily basis? What is it you want me to do? Mm -hmm. And just remember, he can, you can do it all. i never done that before. It's okay. It's okay. But you can do it because the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. You know, uh, God called Moses and Moses said, I can't talk. God said, provided help for him. Amen. So every time he picked someone, he said, I don't know how to do it. Mm. God says, I know how. Right. Yes. I am that I right. am. Yeah. Amen. And when you when you know this, okay, I'm just going to step out in faith. That's all he wants us to do. Right. Yes. Peter never walked on water. Jesus says, come. Uh -huh. Amen. And he walked. Yes. So he's telling you the same thing on a daily basis. Come. Yeah. But you know, have a relationship. Empower mm -hmm. yourself before yes. you go out into this world. Okay. Into this negative world. This losing world. Amen. Because you're the closest thing to a Bible some yes. people will ever see. That's it. Amen. You have a word they would they need to hear. You have a word that's going to change their lives. Mm -hmm. Ain't that awesome? Wow. They change yeah. their lives because of you. See yourself this way. Don't see the don't see yourself the way people see you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because people see you no good. People see you losers. All right. Amen. See yourself yeah. the way he sees you. Yes, Fill yourself with the word of God right. so yeah. people cannot yes. take you down. Yes. Amen. Come on now. Oh. Woo. Somebody needs this. Come on. Yeah. I'll, I'll take it. If you don't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> Keep going. Here we go. This is what I'm going to read to you right here. Philippians chapter 2 verses 9 through 11. Mm -hmm. King James. Yes. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him yes. and given him a name which is what? Oh, Above yeah. every name. Every I mean, every name you can think of, but whatever was given. Yeah. That at the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. say some knees. Oh, every knee, every knee, every knee should bow 
of all things in heaven mm -hmm. and things in the earth, in the earth. and things under the earth. And that every tongue should, every tongue should confess Amen. that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Amen. Every knee is going to bow yes. to Amen. Him. Amen. Not just some, not maybe, but oh. going to. Amen. Yes. So let's remember this. Well, nobody <laughs> tell me what to do. Yes. Nobody's going to do nothing to me. <laughs> I'm my boss. Yeah. yeah. You can be a boss now. Yeah. <laughs> just wait till you stand before the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Yeah. Huh? And your friends, your friends are not going to be with you. That's right. Nobody going to be with you except you. You're going to give an account for yourself. Mm -hmm. That's why he says, confess with your mouth. With your mouth. And with your mouth, yes. the Lord Jesus. Yes. Ask your Lord and say, yes. nobody can do it for you. That's Amen. It. So, that's not. If you want to be real macho, yeah. the real macho, Jesus. Uh -huh. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. I mean, he did something. Yeah. I'm going to read you that song in a few minutes. Go ahead, Carmen. Here we go. You will always have problems. Or you will always have troubles. Mm -hmm. In this life. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and troubles. We, we're learning. It comes to the saved and the unsaved. Mm -hmm. Except we should know what to do already. Yeah. Amen. How do we know what to do? How do we act? How to act by going in the word and getting the word in you so you can be strong in him amen and doing what the word of god tells us to do magnify god and not the problem you will feel yourself sinking in a sea of circumstances and problems and anxieties and cares and concerns and fears and panics and problems but it says don't worry Yes. I, I got a different translation for you so you can understand it better. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about what? Anything. Anything. Instead, pray mm -hmm. about everything. everything. Right. Tell God what you need. Uh -huh. They say what you want. Right. <laughs> say what you need. <laughs> Lord, I need more of you. I need more of you. <laughs> and thank you for what he has done. Yes. Now, this is what he wants us to do. He says, mm -hmm. fix Yes. Matter, remember, the battlefield is the mind. Mm -hmm. The enemy comes to steal and to kill and yeah. destroy. And he wants to attack your mind. That's yes. the battlefield. Yeah. We need to renew it on a daily basis. Yeah. Otherwise, we're going to fail. Mm -hmm. And we're going to fall. Amen? Amen? Fix your thoughts on what? On what is true mm -hmm. and honorable and right and pure and lovely yes. and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Amen. I, I need, I, you know, you can camp out on this oh, yeah. on a daily basis and says, I need more of this. And you've been out in the world today, oh, I guarantee you, you need this. Yeah. <laughs> I need it. Amen. Because oh, you're going to run across ungodly people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they're going to tell you, and they're not going to hold back, and they're going to tell you how they feel. Mm -hmm. And they're going to tell you where to go mm -hmm. quick. Mm -hmm. Amen. So Amen. we need to do this. The, mm -hmm. Well, the NIV says, don't be, uh, do not be anxious about anything. That's right. Do not. Mm -hmm. Don't take it. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Anyway, Jesus says, call on me and I'll be there. He had a hit before the Beatles did. <laughs> he says, I'll be there. Yeah. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, yes. I'll be there. I'm always there. Yeah. It's you walking away. Amen. We got to get this church. Amen. Jesus above all things. Even if you have to say it a thousand times a day. <laughs> Thank you Lord for being there for me. Amen. Don't be discouraged. But be encouraged. We're going to get to this in a few minutes. But stir yourself up. Yes. Nobody's going to stir you up. That's it. Amen. Nobody's going to stir you up. You need to stir yourself up. You know what happens when you stir yourself up? Remember I told you about the the coke the, the coke bottle oh, yeah. or the coke can you shake it and you open it up man it's gonna blow on you mm. <laughs> you need to be like a coke can going somewhere to happen for somebody yeah. man I'm full of word and I wanna stir myself up and I'm gonna explode on somebody <laughs> but I'm gonna share the word of God yes, I'm not gonna yes. be negative I'm gonna right. be positive That's good. and you know that stirring up might just come and and help somebody that's been 
down yes. and out and needs a kind word right. and needs some encouragement and you can give it to them don't say I can't do I can't give yes you can because the Bible says you can mm -hmm. yeah. and you can do it and you're a child of God don't be discouraged be encouraged the Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Yes. We always say, don't look at the negative, look at the positive. Yes. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. You'll say, I'll be there. Mm -hmm. I know your weakness. And I'll meet you in that very place. Yes. Lord, I meet you. I'm there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Where are you? Emotions can run very high. Mm -hmm. And even paralyzing at some point. Oh boy. And lose control, lose uh, strength. Mm. Can even do to carry in these uh, situations, this extra cares, this mm. extra weights around you. Yeah. That's why he says, you know, I'm going to give you a new word here. He says, cast your cares on him. Have you ever cast a net? Have you ever cast a fishing uh, mm -hmm. line? Mm -hmm. Well, he says, give it to me. Mm -hmm. Last week we talked about let, give it to God. Let go yeah. and let God. Yeah. Amen. It seems like we've been stuck on this, but we need to <laughs> let go and let God. Yes. Well, he, he, don't, he can't say what I want to say. That's right. <laughs> because he wants you to say a kind word to ungodly people. Mm -hmm. Rude people. Ugly oh, people. Come on now. <laughs> okay. And I can't do it on my own. <laughs> Lord, I need you to say what you want me to say. Yes. Amen. But he'll speak. Listen, if he if he if he if he had a a, a donkey talk, he can make me talk. Yeah. But I'm gonna do it uh, freely. Oh God. <laughs> Amen. So hey, God can use, and God will do. Yes. <laughs> but he wants you to be weight free, sin yes. free. Yes. Amen. Yes. Care free. Care free. Good. Keep on turning. Here's a. Oh, here we go. I like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can write this down. <laughs> it says Philippians uh, 4, chapter 4, verses 6 to 8. This is what it means. Mm -hmm. It says, no prayer, no power. Mm. We got to stay connected to the power. Yeah. He's our power. Yes, we do. And how does it, where does power come from? Spending, spending time with him. Spending time in the Word. Well, he never I, he never talks to me. Mm. Well, when was the last time you opened your Bible? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and looked at it, you know? Yes. And when he talks, he says, he's talking to me. Uh -huh. Oh, man, you know, this was, if Patricia was there, this was just right for her. <laughs> <laughs> if so-and-so was there, this is just right for, for them, you know? No, this is just right for you. Mm. Amen? He knows you. Yes. All right, so remember that. Praise God. <laughs> I tell Patricia that all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> no prayer, no power. Uh, I think it was a few weeks back we said this. If you're going to pray, why, 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 how is it? Why worry? Why, why worry? If and if you're going to worry, why pray? Mm -hmm. So if you're going to pray, don't worry. It's mm -hmm. not for me. That's hey, it. enemy, I'm renewing my mind. Enemy, you can go somewhere else because yeah. I ain't going to worry. You ain't going to put that on me anymore. That's it. You got to say it sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take that anymore. Mm -hmm. you, you can go somewhere else. Take it somewhere yes. else. I gave it to God. So if you want to know, talk to God, you're going you uh -huh. to talk to Him. That's but right. I'm not receiving it anymore. That's no it. mas. Enough's enough. Thank you, Lord. Keep going. Here we go. It says, let me read this to you. Also, it's this Philippians 4, 6, and 8. We're still on prayer. <laughs> says, when the feeling of fear arises, do not entertain the what ifs or engage with the possibilities of mm. if only yeah. exchange it for an opportunity mm. to pray. Yeah. What can I do? Pray. No, it's not an opportunity for you to go grab another beer. Yeah. <laughs> it's not an opportunity for you to grab <laughs> some more booze or, right, or, yeah. or whatever it is you go grab. It's an opportunity for me to pray. Yes. Well, I'm bored. You know how many people I hear that? I hear so many people say that. Uh -huh. You know, I was bored. I'm bored. Well, first of all, it tells me you have no relationship. Yes. And if you're saved, you need to uh, be uh, mm -hmm. uh, reborn. <laughs> or get re-saved. <laughs> or, or just ignite and get your relationship yes. going again. Yeah. Amen. Because you're not talking. You're not talking. You're not talking like a believer. You're not talking like a child of God. You're not talking like a winner or a champion. 
You're talking defeat. Yeah. And well, that's not us. We're winners and yes, not losers. Amen. See yourself that way. I say, you know what, honey? You catch yourself mm -hmm. doing these things is you're walking away from God. You're not walking to God or with God. You're walking away from Him. And the enemy knows this. Mm -hmm. He says, go around as a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Mm -hmm. So he's listening to your words. He's listening to you looking at your actions. Mm -hmm. Watch your words, your actions, because he's going to come and he's going to devour you. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. You're walking away from the umbrella of protection. Yes. You're walking away from God. Mm -hmm. You're in unsafe grounds. You, get, mm -hmm. you know, you need to get back in relationship. You need to get back yes. with him. Amen. Yes. So 1 Peter uh, 5, 7, Amplify says this, Casting all your cares, yes. all anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns uh -huh. once and for all mm -hmm. on him. Yeah. For he cares about you mm -hmm. with deepest affection. Mm -hmm. And watches over you very carefully. Yes, he does. Let him remember last week we talked about get off the throne so God can be in, can, in, in, in on the throne. Mm -hmm. Let him be on the throne of your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we need to do this all the time, and sometimes we gotta recheck our priorities because we take them off and put ourselves back on there, mm -hmm. and we we, we don't want to do this. Listen to this. It says, casting all. All cares, all worries, all concerns, mm. all on him. All, 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 all. <laughs> this is this is the amplified. It says mm -hmm. all, 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 all. Not some, not maybe a half, but it says all. Yes. Whatever it is, you know. <laughs> you, I give them all, but you know what I forgot? I remembered one more. <laughs> well, give it to him. <laughs> I said, I remembered one more thing. Well, uh -huh. give it to him. He knows, listen, he knows all your weakness. Yes. He knows all your shortcomings. Oh, yeah. He knows all your failures. Mm -hmm. And he loves you the most. Yeah. He loves you more than anything. Ooh, hallelujah. You know what I forgot? I forgot to read to you. Those of you watching, those of you uh, listening, uh, praise and worship team just sang us this, this, this song. And it was about... Uh, a great song we're talking about above all and it goes like this some of you have already read it some of you sing it but it says above all powers above all kings above all nature and all created beings above all wisdom and all the ways of men you were here before the world began amen and the bible also says that he knew you before you was born so he knows you very well. Amen. We always talk about nobody knows me. Yeah, he knows you. He knows everything about you. He knows all your shortcomings and loves you the most. Verse 2 says this. Yeah, uh, above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all wonders that the world has ever known, above all wealth and treasures of the earth, there's no way to measure your worth. Man, this is awesome. And you know what? He took the fall for us. Amen. Woo. Man, if they don't get you excited, I don't know what will. But it says, it ends like this. Of course, it says, crucified, leave behind a stone. You live to die, rejected and alone. You think you've been rejected? He was rejected and alone. Like a rose trampled to the ground. He says, you yes. took the fall. Yeah. And you thought about me. Yes. And you thought about me. You could put your name there. And yes. you thought he thought he was thinking about you. And you know what? When he was crucified, I would have been thinking, I don't know if I want to take this. Father, just come and wipe him out. <laughs> but he didn't. He was thinking about us. Remember, his mission was to come and yes. get his, his, his people back to him. Yes, yes. And he was thinking about this, and his mission is almost finished. Yes. And all he had to do to complete this was say, uh -huh. Father, forgive them. Yeah. And you know what? The enemy didn't like that. The devil says, no. <laughs> he didn't like that. Because Jesus, he said, put all these things. Mm -hmm. They beat him. They put stripes on him. Mm -hmm. They did everything. Yeah. I mean, everything you can think of. Mm -hmm. And still, the Bible says he was unrecognizable. Yeah. Okay. That's bad. 
Yeah. I mean, that's that's worse than uh, than Hollywood <laughs> makes him look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but still, he was still alive, and he still spoke to the Father and yes, says, yeah. "Forgive them." That's right. And he didn't give himself to the Father until he said, "Forgive them." Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. And you know what? Another thing to offer this is there's hope for all of us. Yes, for you is. that never asked him. Yeah. Because on the side each side of him was two robbers, two mm -hmm. two robbers that, that were uh crucified next yeah. to him. Mm -hmm. And one of them was mocking him still. Still the same person. Mm -hmm. Never changed. Never but the other changed. one says, I see, I know who you are. Mm -hmm. And asks forgiveness and yeah. says, You are the Son of God. You know, mm -hmm. and that's you he was saved is today he says today you'll be with me in paradise yes, yes. so he repented mm -hmm. so those of you that are listening you think you've committed the worst sin <laughs> all you uh, have to do is repent yes. that's forgiveness and he says he'll forgive amen, amen. he'll forgive and amen. if somebody ever told you that he can't use you anymore mm. because he can't forgive you mm. it's wrong that's it you find out what the word of God says yes. so nobody can trick you That's and say it. the wrong things. Amen. And if I ever say anything out of place, you come and tell me. Because I, I want to be corrected. <laughs> she will. <laughs> oh, praise God. You know what? The, it, basically, you want to change. Yes. When you change, you grow. Yes. That's and we right. want to grow and we want to mature yes. in the things of God. Yes, do. Don't just let people tell you right. what the Bible says. Right. Find out for yourself right. what the Bible says. Yes. Amen. Right. Find out for yourself what the Word of God says. And you yeah. know, just reading it from cover to cover, just to accomplish something for some goal for yourself, oh, no. that don't mean nothing. Mm. You want to read and study and meditate, say yes. study. To show yourself a proof. Get in the word and study it and meditate on it and get it in you. It says when you get it in you, it says out of your innermost being, that's stirring up, it's gonna flow rivers of living waters out of you. Man, I can't believe that was me. I can't believe I said that. Why? Because when troubles rose up, when the situation came up, the word of God flew out of you. Amen. That's not what flew out of me before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's some bad things yeah. used to come out of me. <laughs> but now I got a guard. I've got a guard. I put a guard. I say, uh, ain't coming out. I thought about it. But it ain't coming out. Amen. You can do the same thing. No, I have to share it with them. I have to tell them. Well, you sow them bad seed. So yes. don't sow them bad seed. Yeah. So here we go. Keep going. Oh, here we go. Give. Yeah. You know, some of us don't understand what cast means. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he says, give. Oh. Give all your worries, all cares to God because he cares about you. First Peter yes. 5, 7. Mm -hmm. We need to remember this. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the past. Let it go. Don't yeah. be a prisoner of your past. That's it. And don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow's got enough problems for itself. Yeah. So I'm going to be concerned. I'm just going to be focused on today. I'm going to serve this day. Amen. Yes. Don't worry about it. I'm trusting God. And you know what? Because I may not be around tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. And I don't want tomorrow's troubles or problems piling up on today's mm -hmm. problems. Amen. Uh -huh. No way. Or you're bringing the past troubles on you yes. also. Yes. I'm, I'm a mess. You're a mess. <laughs> And that's the, the way the enemy wants to see you. Yeah. You know, broke. He wants to see you yeah. uh, uh, concerned, yes. worried, worried. Uh, stealing your time, stealing, killing, destroying you. Mm -hmm. That's what he wants to do. Yeah. Keep going, turn. There you go. I like this. John chapter 16, verses 33. Mm. King James. And these things I have spoken unto you. That in me, mm -hmm. you might have peace. Amen. In this world, you're going to have tribulations. Yes. You're going to have problems. You're going to have troubles. Yeah. You're still saved. But you're yeah. going you to face troubles every yes. day. Every you day. know? That's it. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Mm -hmm. He says, if I have overcome, you can overcome. Yes. Right. Yes. Amen. So be an overcomer. Amen. Don't just... 
be a loser. Amen. Yes. Be an overcomer. This is good. And it says, get have peace. Let me see yes. if I can uh, find this. Uh... Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. Yes, he is. We just, we just, uh, we just God's children and we're growing in the word. Yes. Amen. Yes. I think I've said it to you something like this. Don't let people take you out of your peace. Mm -hmm. You bring them into your peace. Yes. Yes. Don't let people, don't let this world yes. take you out of your joy. Mm -hmm. But you bring them into your joy. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I, you ain't gonna drag me out of this. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna drag me from serving. That's it. I'm gonna stay where I'm at. Yeah. So you know what? If I can't have what you got, you can have what I got, mm -hmm. and you can have Jesus because mm -hmm. He's for everybody and it's yes, free. Yes. Amen. That's Salvation it. is free. Yes, it is. The expanded Bible says this. I told you these things so that you could have peace in me. In this world, you will have troubles, persecutions, sufferings. Mm -hmm. But be brave. Take courage. I have defeated. I have victory over. I have conquered, overcome the world. Mm -hmm. And you can do the same thing. Yes. Amen. Thank you. You can do the same. I have defeated. It's, mm -hmm. and, and, and we find a defeated hope. Enemy has already been defeated. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Have peace. Have peace in Him. He wants us to have peace. Yes. The Bible says He is the Prince of Peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. Keep going. Mm -hmm. There we go. He tells us in uh, Matthew 11, chapter 11, verses uh, 28 through 30. He says, "Come unto me, all ye." <laughs> I'm going to take ye out of there and no. I'll put Jose <laughs> that are laboring and heavy laden yeah. and I will give you rest. rest. Yes. Amen. Yes. Take your yoke upon me, uh, upon you. Take my yoke upon you mm -hmm. and learn of me for mm -hmm. I am meek and lowly in heart. Amen. And ye shall find rest unto your soul. Mm -hmm. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'd rather be in him mm -hmm. than in the world. I'd rather yes. be in him than in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. So let's let's remember this. Um it says let go and let God. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows this, but they won't do it. Mm -hmm. If God has told you to put something down, put it down. Yeah. <laughs> if God has told you to let something go, oh my gosh. don't take it back. That's it. Amen. Don't let go. Of some old, uh, it says, don't go back to the same old thing that tripped you. Oh boy. There's many things out there that wants to distract yeah, you. Yeah, distract you. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to fulfill that mm -hmm. if you're in the flesh. Yes, it. But you got to get in the spirit. Yes. You, you're a tri being. You have yeah. a spirit and you got to feed the word of God and it's going to grow. Mm -hmm. And you have a um, a soul, which is your mind, your will, and your emotions mm -hmm. that you have to renew on a yes. daily basis or as often as possible yes. so that I'm going to be thinking like the world or otherwise I'm going to be like the world oh, and I'm yeah. going to fall. And mm -hmm. you have a flesh that wants you to be lazy all oh, the time yeah. and be more comfortable all the time <laughs> and do nothing all the time. Oh. Just easy going, smooth, comfy, you know. Mm -hmm. But you got to take that spirit, man, and you got to renew your mind and, and tell your flesh. Mm -hmm. Get with it, you know, get off your cool say, I'm like, let's go and do the things of God. Amen. Otherwise, you're gonna grow weak. And when you grow weak, if you're not hooked to your source, if you if you're weak, you're gonna fall. Full time devil, part time Christian. Mm -hmm. That's no battle. Mm -mm. Devil's gonna have you quick. Yeah. In a heartbeat. You mean? God told the people He says, I've got a promised land for you. He says, Go into the promised land. He says, it's yours. It's promised to you. It's yours. Go and take it. And they come back. They sent 12 spies. Mm -hmm. And 10 of them came back with negative reports. Mm -hmm. Two of them came back with positive reports. Mm -hmm. Some of them said, man, we big giants in there. You know, uh, we just like grasshoppers. Mm -hmm. Other two says, we can go. We can take. You know, let's go. I'm, we're ready. Two. Sometimes you may be the only one. But you know, you step out into this world mm -hmm. and you'll see giants. You'll see giant problems. Mm -hmm. You'll see giant cares. You'll see giant storms. Say, man, you'll see giant uh, problems, mm -hmm. financial problems, marital yeah. problems, whatever the problem may be. Mm -hmm. And you'll see it. And you say, man, 
That's nothing. That's what David did with Goliath. He saw the giant. But greater was he that was in him. You know, greater that was backing him. Jesus. I mean, God was backing him. And that's who's backing you up. Say, man, you see those Goliaths in your lives? They're coming down. Yeah. They no match right. to my God. That's it. And you're coming down. So you could do the same thing with mm -hmm. whatever giants, whatever storms, whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. They still cares. And they're going to be out there. Mm -hmm. But I'm born again. You know, I shouldn't have these things. Yeah. Well, the enemy is busy because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. And if you're not born again, he's going to use people. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes these people are your family. No. <laughs> Sometimes oh, these yeah. people are your friends. Oh, <laughs> Sometimes these people are just real nice mm -hmm. and that people that you know. Mm -hmm. But still, they're open for the enemy to use. Mm -hmm. And he's going to use them. So you oh, got to yeah. be careful. Amen. You got to be strong. Amen. You got to be strong in him. <laughs> Renew your mind with the word of God. So don't go back to the same old things that trip you. Like sin or care, problems, troubles, uh, bad habits. Or bad company. You know, some sometimes we gotta clean the company up because <laughs> the company is now no bueno. <laughs> you don't have to go to church all the time. You know, you can go once in a while, man. That's what I do. Well, you don't know the Jesus I know, and you don't have the relationship I have. Amen. Let go and let God. He's above all. Let the joy. This is what I wanted to read to you earlier. Let the joy of, uh, of the Lord be your strength. Let your smile change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. Man, you, you can write that down. Amen. Why are you smiling all the time? It's going to take some people off. Why are you smiling all the time? Don't you know we got problems? Don't you know there's COVID out there? Don't you know people dying? And, and you're smiling. What's the problem? I have victory in them. Amen. I have victory. I have no the greater one. Amen. I know Jesus. And you can have the same peace I have. And you can smile too. You know, some people out there, if they was to smile, their face would fall off. Because it'll crack off. Come on now. <laughs> Bring them into your peace. Don't let them drag you into their troubles. Don't give in. I just want you to do this one time. No. I want you to want you, won't you just, just miss one Sunday, or won't you just uh, miss church this one day? You know what are we gonna do? What we're gonna do? Just hang out, you know? No bueno. <laughs> let your smile change the world. Yeah. Don't let the world change your smile. That's good. Just remember that, man. It's good. Amen. We've been hitting on this last few uh, Sundays, but Hebrews twelve one and two says this in the Amplified. Therefore, since we were sur we're surrounded by so so great a cloud of witnesses by whose faith have testified to the truth of God, absolute faithfulness, strip off every unnecessary weight and the sin which so easily and cleverly entangles us. Let us run with endurance, determination, the race that is set before us. Press on. That's what he's telling us every day. Press on. Spend time with him and then press on. But there's giants out there. Remember what he says? This is the day I have made. Rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> Man, it's Monday. Man, it's Tuesday. We're only happy on Fridays. We thank God it's Friday. That's the only time we we, we, we we thank God. Thank God for every day. Rejoice and be glad in it. But you don't know what the weather is like out there. You don't know what I'm facing. It says rejoice and be glad in. I'm in him. Let him be with you. Amen. Amen. Come on. Look it away from all that will distract us much. And focusing our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of our faith. The first incentive for our beliefs. And the one who brings our faith to maturity. Who for the joy of accomplishing the goal set before him, endured and doing the, the cross disregarding the shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God revealing his deity yeah. his authority interceding for us and completing his word his work Amen. so 
name. Jesus is seated at the right hand of God, a place of deity, a place of authority, yes. interceding for us. So don't think, well, you know, nobody likes me, nobody cares for me, nobody ever prays for me. Well, the Bible says Jesus is praying for you, and he's somebody. And if Jesus is praying for me, I am happy. I'm happy for him to be praying for me. But we need to know if you, if you don't know these things, you're going to worry about too many things. Keep, keep That's going. The last one. That's the last one? Okay. I'll read you this one. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6 in the Amplified says, Let your character, your morals, essence, your inner nature yes. be free from the love of money. Uh -huh. Shun, greed, be faithfully ethical. Yes. Being content with what you have. Right. For he has said, I will never under any circumstances uh -huh. desert you, uh -huh. nor give up on you, uh -huh. nor leave you without support, nor will I in any degree leave you helpless. Yes. Man, nor will I forsake or let you down or relax my hold on you. Uh -huh. He's got his hold on you. He's not going to let go. The only one the only ones to let go is us. Mm -hmm. The only ones to walk away is us. Yes. <laughs> he is always there for us. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> so we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper uh -huh. in time of need. Yeah. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? Mm -hmm. This is a more reason to seek only the true and living God. The one that is above all. Yes. Mm -hmm. If God is for us, who can be against us? This is a more reason for me to say, <laughs> yeah. I need to seek Him and be with right. Him. Amen. And, and have up my daily priorities mm -hmm. in order. Say, Lord first, mm -hmm. and the rest will wait. Yes. And for Lord first, and mm -hmm. whatever else comes underneath. Mm -hmm. Amen. But serve Him first. Have Him yes. first in your life. Seek Amen. ye first the kingdom of God. Amen. Matthew 33, uh, 6.33. And his righteousness and all these other things yeah. shall be added on to you. I think we're going to be stopping here. But I'll just read this last two for you. Second Timothy 1 and 6 says this. Therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through laying on of hands. That's the New King James. The easy to read version says this. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 6. This is why I want you to remember... The gift God gave you. God gave you that gift. When I laid my hands on you. Now I want you to use that gift. To let it grow more and more. Like a small flame. Grows into a fire. <laughs> let this small flame. Grow into a fire. Amen. We have to stir it up. Amen. When you see the coals. Stir them up. When you stir them up, then you see that flame rise up. But we need to, as children of God, stir ourselves in Him. Yes. Stir ourselves in Him. And stay on fire for God. Yes. Being hungry for more of Him on a, on a daily basis. Not just once in a while. So I read the Bible when I go to church. <laughs> the pastor reads the Bible to us when we go to church. No, you read the Bible, the Word of God, daily for yourself. You said study to show yourself approved. And Psalms 33, 35 and 23 says this. Again, stir yourself up. Stir yourself. Or excuse me, it says stir up yourself. Stir up yourself. You know that stew is going to be real delicious. It's got everything in it. But you know what? If we stir it up, it's going to taste even better. <laughs> we're going to stir ourselves up in Him. And we're going to be better to serve Him. Amen. Because we're going to be full of Him. We're going to be full of the Word. And the Word is going to come out of us. And we're going to be on fire. Amen. So praise God. Let us pray. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to pray. Learn your Word, Father. And uh, and be uh, your, your, your uh, servants, Lord. And serve you as we go on and fulfill what you've called us to do, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you're listening, you know, we don't want to close. Unless you have an opportunity to... Make Jesus your Lord and Savior. And uh, if you never asked Him, all you have to do is just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? When you take that step, you're only one step away from knowing Him. And you, all you have to do is turn around. 
I'm going to turn around from everything and follow you. And then he's going to be there. He's going to forget, for, uh, forgive you and forget about all your past, you know. And just, it's time for you to start learning and press it on for him. Amen. Yes. And start serving him. So praise God. If you need a touch of healing in your body, just touch that area and say, man, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. I receive my healing right now in Jesus' name. You know, you're a vessel of God. And this is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And no sickness has any right in my body. That's I right. command that sickness to go yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Praise God. So if, if you uh, see the screen up here, it says time to give. If you're watching and listening, just uh, go to the website, nbcbigben.com, and hit that donate button. Yes. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Mm -hmm. So God loves you and we love you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen.